the health benefits of superfood chaga mushroom. Over time and time again, we are finding new discoveries, but in fact it's an old discovery, already used by your ancestors for thousands of years. Superfoods has been used in many cultures, and I've mentioned this in other videos about the immense benefits of healing foods. A very powerful medicine are mushrooms and today I'll be talking about the chaga mushroom. It is in the fungi kingdom that has endless healing benefits, sometimes called the king of all mushrooms. Very high antioxidant which is on par or more than other superfoods. It has the highest source for melanin which is great for skin, hair, eyes, nails and so on. And it contains very high amounts of antiviral compounds. Betulin which is one of the most important compounds to us. I was running out of chaga so depending where you live you can find it while hiking or picking up locally in your area such as farmers market or online which can be pricey. Generally you'll find chaga on birch trees near water such as a pond or a lake. I live in the US and Canada so I go back and forth seeing it in those areas. I know when passing through northern Michigan and going through Ontario Canada tons of chaga there. In other parts of the world it will be found in Russia and Scandinavia. There are other mushrooms like reishi, turkey tail, and lion's mane mushroom which is beneficial for your health and brain. I've mentioned lion's mane in another video, I'll list it here if you haven't seen it yet. When picking up chaga, it should be hard similar to hard cork. When dried, it will be hard like wood. You know it's gone bad or starting to rot when it's gone soft. How to make chaga it will look burnt on the outside and as mentioned it will be on birch trees. The inside will have a yellow to orange color or kind of like a gold look. Often people use chaga as tea or coffee. Today I'll be making some coffee and it's simple and quick. First break off the chaga into pieces. Here my wife is using a knife or also some type of sharp hammer with a point at the end. Add about one to two tablespoons of chaga with your coffee. Depending on your preference you can add less or more. Second, you'll have to grind it. If you're doing it manually, you'll be grating it, which can take much longer. Today I'm using a grinder. Next, put all the contents into your coffee pot and add the hot water. Boil the coffee and then let it sit another 10 minutes before having it. That's it, and you'll be ready to enjoy your coffee. Again, always research on your own whether that is reading books or learning in a class if that's an option. Always look at various sources of information so you can compare and make a sound decision. If you plan to look for chaga in your area while hiking, you should identify the poisonous plants you have in your location. Take many photos and samples. Bring it to the garden facility or somewhere that can test it to confirm what it is. Will definitely be reassuring since mushrooms can also be deadly if you're wrong. I suggest learning those things first before you begin looking for foods that you believe are edible. You definitely don't want to make any mistakes and then find yourself in the hospital. I hope this was helpful and be safe in your studies. See you in the next video. Thanks.